Did you know a AAA Iron Man game is on the way? Or did you forget about it? I mean, we were talking about it here on this channel since its announcement. I've been trying to give you guys as many updates about the game as possible. We've gotten little crumbs here and there. And today we got another little crumb, but I wanted to break down overall everything you need to know about this Iron Man game. So let's take it back. You know, a little while back, EA had announced that it's partnering up with Marvel. They were going to be making some games for Marvel. One of the games that they announced was a Black Panther game by a newly created studio by the name of Cliffhanger Games games based on previous rumors from Jeff Grubb who talked about this before it was even officially announced this is most likely going to be an open world game so we can really look forward to that but then EA also announced that Motive is working on an Iron Man game and if you didn't know Motive are the ones who were behind the highly well received Dead Space remake that came out last year and if we're being honest if this game had come out later in the year so that there was a bit more of that recency bias but also if this game just came out any other year that wasn't so stacked for games like 2023 was it definitely could have been up there for some of the big game of the year nominations when it came out in January of 2023 people were saying that this is an early game of the year contender and now those are the guys who are working on the Iron Man game you should be hyped and you should be scrolling down and hitting the thumbs up button on this video right now right now sorry sorry but okay we've gotten also some information from job postings that this game will most likely be open world and i feel like that is such an easy guess to make you know you can just make an educated guess to say that this is going to be an open world game because of the fact that it's iron man that sort of sandbox just makes a ton of sense for that kind of character to limit it within a linear experience i'm not saying that that would be bad but i feel like that would just put the character in handcuffs you want to be able to fly around a city go as fast as you can go anywhere you want you don't want to be stuck within the confines of where the mission needs to take you there were some job postings as well that indicated the game was going to be using unreal engine 5 and then motive just officially announced that via a blog post in the blog post they mentioned how they were transitioning their work from the dead space remake now onto all hands on deck for the iron man game and then they also mentioned me Meanwhile, we've chosen Unreal Engine 5 as our game engine in order to empower the dev team to work their magic and create something really special. That's the best way to put it. I mean, this is definitely going to be something special. Look at that recently revealed Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra game. That is using the Unreal Engine 5 tech as well. And my goodness, it looks magnificent. That is just straight up graphically, visually. I'm just talking about that. That is straight up one of the best looking games I've ever seen. The performances come through like one-to-one -one from the actors playing the characters. It's unbelievable. And the fact that we're going to be getting that tech, Unreal Engine 5, also with Marvel's Iron Man, is something I'm super hyped for. Now, in terms of when we can expect to get our hands on this game, well, it's still in very early development. So this is probably not going to be something you hear about for a couple of years at the very least. But very recently, we did get a new update regarding what's going on with the development of this game and depending on how you look at it this could be good news or this could be bad news i'm not entirely sure how to take this but essentially a new blog post was put out by ea motive in which they explain that their team is kind of splitting in half half the team working on the battlefield franchise and the other half working on marvel's iron man here's what it says in the blog post from patrick klaus hi everyone as we progress into the new year and i celebrate my fifth year working in motive as studio general manager i'm proud to share more news on how we maintain our long-term strategy of two world-class game teams developing projects side by side there's a lot going on here in this blog post but the point is that they said with an exciting announcement that a group of developers from motive are joining the talented teams at Criterion, Dice, and Ripple Effect to continue unlocking the full potential of Battlefield. They mentioned that they're pulling aside some of the directors of the Dead Space remake to help build the team that's going to be working on these Battlefield games alongside all those other development studios that they mentioned in the blog post. In parallel, development continues to move forward on our Iron Man project, led by Oliver Proust, who is the executive producer, and Ian Frazier, the creative director. The team made excellent progress this year, hitting a major internal milestone and laying a robust foundation for the journey ahead iron man is an important priority for motive and i'm very proud of the work that we've accomplished so far now the bad news potentially if you wanted to look at this glass half empty is that they are splitting up the team a little bit it's not going to be entirely all hands on deck at motive working on iron man some of these incredibly talented people are now going to be creating a team to help work on the development of the battlefield franchise which in my personal opinion hasn't been doing the greatest but maybe that's why they need the help maybe that's why they need some people 
from Motive to be working on it. There is a way to look at this glass half full though. It was mentioned in that blog post that the game, the Iron Man game, has hit a major milestone. They've built a good foundation here for the rest of the development for the game. And it sounds like they're making good progress so far on what they've worked on. So that's honestly exciting to hear. And overall, I think there's still gonna be a ton of the really talented people who worked on that Dead Space remake still working on this Iron Man game. And I doubt that they made this decision without thinking about how much of a priority something like Iron Man needed to be. Because as big as Battlefield could be, if they make it great, if they knock it out of the park with the next one, Marvel games, it's just different, you know? people go crazy for the insomniac spider-man franchise and those are just playstation exclusives imagine if we get something of the quality of what insomniac has done with spider-man but with iron man and it ends up being a game that's multi-platform available on pc xbox and playstation that could be a mega hit and yeah there's tons of potential with the character there's so much you can do there i mean just think about the alternate suits alone or i guess alternate armors there's like a bottomless pit of different armors that iron man has worn in the comics in the movies and so on and that we can choose from here and if they make an iron man 2 and 3 game if even if they wanted to go 4 5 and 6 and each game was introducing 30 to 50 new armors i don't think that they're gonna run out but also you know his villains the type of combat the traversal flying around whatever open world sandbox they might provide to us there's so much to be excited about here. I cannot wait for us to see more from this game. And while I don't necessarily think that they would do this right from the get-go, it would be really cool if they had War Machine as a separate playable character. I feel like if we were ever going to see something like that, though, that would probably be saved for a sequel, a second or a third game, if we do end up getting to that point. But again, I feel like the potential is there for us to see this game sell really well. As long as we get something that's of the same quality as the Dead Space remake from Motive, but for Iron Man, a ton of people are going to buy the game. I'm also just happy... Or we're getting an Iron Man game that's not a movie tie-in game, finally. Now, I'm not hating on those movie tie-ins too much, okay? A part of my childhood was playing the Iron Man 1 and 2 movie tie-in game, and I did have fun with them as a kid. But look at what Spider-Man got from games, okay? Even outside of the movie tie-ins that were pretty damn good, he also got things like Ultimate Spider-Man, Web of Shadows, and so on. No other Marvel heroes really got that treatment, so I'm glad we're starting to see that now. With Iron Man, a Black Panther game coming up, Marvel 1943, through Rise of Hydra's got Captain America and Black Panther. We just need a new really cool AAA Hulk game and then a cool AAA Thor game and we're good to go. And like I said, it's using Unreal Engine 5. Marvel 1943 just, it's astonishing what they've done with that tech and I'm very hyped to see more developers utilizing it and maybe pushing Unreal Engine 5 beyond its capability. The only other thing to note, the only other thing to mention is depending how far out this game is, this could be a next-gen game. If we're talking like another four years, you can very much expect that Marvel's Iron Man from EA Motive will be a game that comes to the PlayStation 6 and whatever the next Xbox is. And who knows what kind of tech is going to be jammed into those new consoles and how good this game could look running on that tech. We're going to have to wait and see. Of course, though, I will keep you guys locked on everything for Marvel's Iron Man right here on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got those notifications on. And with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Are you excited for the Iron Man game? And also, what do you think about the recent news that we got that they're going to be splitting up the studio for some of them to work on the Battlefield franchise while the rest of the studio is still going to be working on Marvel's Iron Man with apparently some great progress made already? I want to hear everything you guys have to say in the comments below. I've been Caboose. I'll see you guys later.